boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're gonna talk about liberty. That's right, liberty. Now, when I think about liberty, I can't help but think about the Statue of Liberty. It is one of the biggest icons in America. And when men and women and boys and girls come to this country, they so desperately wanna see this wonderful symbol of freedom. And it is a big symbol of freedom. It is 305 feet tall. That means if you were to lay it down, it would be even bigger than a 100 yard football field. That is tall and that is big. And here's what I've learned about freedom. Everybody wants to be free. They wanna be free so that they can pursue their dreams. And every boy and girl of every age has dreams and they want to achieve them and pursue them. But did you know those dreams sometimes only last for a little while? And so when I think of liberty, when I think of dreams, dreams that last forever, I can't help but think about the Word of God. So if you have your Bibles, would you open them to Luke 4 today and allow me to read verse 18 for you now. And remember, as always, this is the Word of God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Boys and girls, did you see what the Word of God said? Jesus came to proclaim liberty to those who are captives. That means every boy and girl of every age is in chains, and they're in chains specifically to sin. And here's what I've learned over time. Sin is like carrying around a big, heavy weight. And wherever you go, it just drags you down and it causes so much pain and sorrow. So what are we to do? Well, boys and girls, we are to proclaim and receive the gospel, the good news. And the good news is that Jesus came to die in your place and my place to set us free, and not just to set us free for a little while, but to set us free forever. And that's the good news. And as we receive it, we also wanna proclaim it so that other people who are in captivity with those chains can be set free too. I can think of nothing better to proclaim this 4th of July weekend, a symbol of freedom in our great country than to let people know who Jesus Christ is so that they can be set free forever. So boys and girls of all ages, I hope you're encouraged and I hope you will proclaim the good news to a lost and dying world. And until next time, bye-bye.